What are some subtle signs a person is not quite alright mentally? Personal hygiene is usually for me a sign something ain't alright. Difficulty to make simple decisions, hypersensitiveness of any kind of criticism. My brother is very repetitive. He will ask you something, you'll answer. The conversation around you will continue and a few minutes later he will ask again, maybe a little different. This will happen again and again, him asking the same question in a different way with long pauses in between, almost as though he's trying to get you to answer a certain way. Eventually he will just get up and leave the room, dissatisfied. Sometimes he will text me days later, confirming my answer to the question. It's so fucking weird but harmless. He's diagnosed schizophrenic. Speech patterns are a good indication. Mania can make people talk really fast or depression can make people not speak at all. How they speak, the words used, can also indicate issues. It's best to just ask if they're okay. Isolation from other people. Little to no social battery because in their minds they think they are bothersome to people or that other people would not really notice them gone anyway. For me, it's isolation. I haven't been okay in years so now I work nights and barely interact with anyone. I've become so isolated. I don't even know how to integrate back into society or communicate properly. Appetite is also an indicator. When I stop eating and lose weight rapidly, something is very wrong. I'm usually hoping for death by starvation. Ever talk to someone for a while, like know the guy for months? and realize one day you don't really know anything about them. Can't recall them ever mentioning a family member or even a favorite color. Maybe you went out to eat a few times and they always insisted you pick the restaurant. Like they're scared to let you know anything about them. They're perfectly friendly, get you to talk about yourself, listen to you ramble about your hyperfixations, but when you try to talk to them about them they suddenly don't have anything to say. I've met a few people like this and most of the time I never figure out what's up, but a few times I've gotten them to open up about being bullied or emotionally abused as a kid. As someone who's been there and seen others suffer, I have some to contribute. Sudden changes in behavior. Reckless behavior. Lack of motivation. Very high highs and very low lows. Mood swings. Changes in appetite over under eating lives in filth and squalor severe depression and other mental illnesses impair your executive functioning and motivation so tending to basic hygiene and cleanliness is extremely difficult if you know someone who has been really depressed and suddenly they seem very happy it can be a sign that they decided they are going to kill themselves and are happy with their decision and glad it will all be over soon when they adopt a religious mindset that is closer to superstition about every single thing in life I'm not disparaging all religion, but when a person starts thinking the Archangel Gabriel is walking in their garden when the branches move in the wind or attribute absolutely every single thing, like a napkin falling, to God's plan something is wrong. I am not enjoying this post lol. Not always, but slight comments that are insults to their own character, a bit of self-deprecation could be chalked up to acknowledging how you act sometimes, but if it's constant and nearly all the time then maybe check in on them. If someone checks in on people a lot, they might either be a worry wart, just care a lot about their friends, or perhaps just looking for a bit of help themselves, but want to make sure nobody else needs it, too. They have a very short fuse before exploding, often for relatively innocuous reasons. Folks who consistently lose their composure and get angry, at the drop of a hat, whenever they face any kind of criticism or challenge. Reading some of these comments. I think I got some issues, grimacing face. They lie a lot. A lot of people might say to look out for people who are weird but the real sign is to look out for people who lash out randomly. Posting a lot of motivational quotes on social media. Things about not engaging with toxic people etc. Public nudity. The child who is not embraced by the village will burn it down to feel its warmth. Thinking they have more control over others than themselves. Overly angry. 
looking for any little mistake from the world around them to justify their anger. Inability to apologize. Impulsiveness. It seeps into every crevice of their lives, whether in relationships, identity, decision-making, money. They're literally unsettled mentally. Will drop people just as fast as they bring them in. Brain fog. Insomnia. Running multiple social media accounts. Delusions of grandeur. Skin picking and starving yourself. I learned that in romantic relationships when someone is very overly affectionate one day and then completely cold the next for no apparent reason, it is a sign they could have a personality disorder. I sadly thought this was normal behavior for a long time. Lack of flexibility with plans for me, I would get into an incredibly rigid routine when my OCD or eating disorder were really bad. I have anxiety and I have noticed that when I am asked to do something at work that I am unfamiliar with, I will ask multiple times in multiple different ways. That's the only way I can receive proper confirmation that I am performing the task correctly. It's almost as if I have to ask every single step I'm sure my coworkers hate me for it, but I'd rather ask 100 times than not ask, and have to own up and then fix my mistake. For reference, I work in a relatively fast-paced environment. I study psychology and everything can be a subtle sign, but some major ones are inconsistent speech, sudden mood swings, physical agitation constantly shaking your knee for example, delusional ideas and always good or bad ones, loss of interest in almost everything even things that the person loves, etc. Lying, fixation that the ends that justify the means, assuming you know what someone else thinks and choosing on their behalf. Choosing for other people I know he likes turkey so I'll order him a turkey sandwich normal and consider it she won't want to come, so let's just not invite her removing agency from others. If you are here and feeling worse about yourself take heart in the fact that you are not alone unfortunately, there is no substitute for hard work in making yourself well. The hardest pet is when things are going really well and you feel like you'll be okay. Know that this is a lifelong process. There is no cure, but it will make you stronger and able to help others. Tell someone how you feel, open yourself up. A friend, a social worker, a barista. Live in the moment, make yourself happy before taking on relationships. You got this. You ask them a question, and they respond like a different question was asked, or just come out with a completely unrelated statement. It's almost like someone who wants to change the subject, but it seems like they can't help it, their mind just isn't taking in and processing information correctly, 